A. Good morning, ever. Oh, I don't like that. I feel weird. I'm scared someone's gonna walk out the door. Although I'm not really, don't I know any of these people, so it's fine. Good morning, everyone. It is currently Friday, um, and I'm basically at Josh's for the weekend. I drove him back up to uni yesterday, so I thought I'd vlog because I don't really do much else at the moment. So I thought this would be the most interesting weekend out of my weekends to vlog. It's quite sunny this morning, as you can probably see. So I put my sunglasses on um, because otherwise I'm squinting, and that lighting because I've got the sun behind me. <laughs> absolutely dreadful um but we're on the way to Lidl now to get some breakfast and some food and stuff um and we shall go from there really I'll try and vlog as much as possible but I don't really know what we're gonna do um that's about it for this intro because oh my god this lighting is absolutely tragic moves in so slowly rather than a mm -mm -mm. I got this and I don't really know what it's going to be like but I'm hoping it's like a giant act now. It's a peach and passion fruit yoghurt drink and I mean there's several flavours but that one looked the best so we should now carry on. Mm, eeny weeny miny mo. I got one of these. I've never seen this flavour before. Oh it's limited edition that's why. Straight in the basket. This is an essential part of my food shop. I love broccoli so much. Oh we didn't bring you I bought this yesterday when we came here. I think it's meant to be like a cream egg, which to be honest, I'm not the biggest cream egg lover, but I do, I like them, but I don't love them. And I mean, it does kind of look disgusting, but I saw it on Instagram. So when I saw it in person, I just had to try it. Um, just a little fun addition there. So, oh, we can always come back and get it another day. We can always, yeah. I mean, I'm sure we'll be fine. It's just drying. Lidl is done. I got my favorite cereal, which you can, well, I say you can only get it in Lidl. I feel like you can only get it in Lidl and like abroad I and mean, should not feel my feet because that's really boring i feel like you can only get it in little or abroad um and i don't really have a little near me so when this lighting is just not really the sun seems to be in all the wrong places for me this morning um what was i saying oh yeah i don't really have a little near me and i'm also holding the shopping bag on the same hand as my camera and then i also got some croissants because like it's rude not to get some from little bakery especially when you're going food shopping in the morning i haven't had any breakfast yet so i kind of went a bit Overboard with chocolate this morning, I thought. I just got chocolate for breakfast. Yeah, oh well. I bought an Apple Watch the other day, so I need to set that up because I haven't done that yet. So I'm going to do that when we get back. And then we're going to go to town later. So I don't really know what I'm going to film, but we shall wait and see. Okay, they are here. I basically ordered some donuts because you can't get them. Well, you can't. Where am I going with this? You can. I am currently in Loughborough, as you are aware, um, and these are like a Leicester sort of based donut company. So they do like local delivery. And Loughborough is in the catchment, whereas Cambridge obviously isn't. So um, I can only get them when I get to Josh's. So I thought I'd try them. They're from the brand Project Donut. It's literally like half 10 and they've already been delivered, which I'm so pleased about. But yeah, I thought I'd order some. I ordered them literally a couple weeks ago, ready for them to arrive today. I haven't opened them yet, so I thought I'd do it on camera, but here we go. So, oh my God, they're huge. Oh my god, look at them. Okay, you can't really see, I'll have to turn the camera around, but um, I can't actually remember what they are. They're all, they've got like really cool names, so I'll try and find them and pop them on screen here. But there's a Lotus Biscoff one, a Rolo one, a Mars Bar one, and then one with like a little Maltese bunny on, but I think it's got white chocolate inside it. Um, but they were all named after celebrities, like they were, oh my god, these honestly smell amazing. I don't know if you can see the size of them. Um, what have the boys got in their kitchen that I can compare it to? Okay, this is some fry light in comparison. Can't really tell either way. These are giant. Just take my word for it. This is my hand. These are giant. But we all know I love donuts. I love Krispy Kreme. So when I realised I could get these delivered here, I had to make the most of the opportunity. And I'm so pleased. I think these are literally like £11. But you could feed at least eight people with them. They're giant. I'm happy. I'm chuffed. Okay. I'm gonna eat them now. Okay, I feel like compared to my hand, you can kind of see the size of them. Like I've got incredibly long fingers as well and a stupidly long nail on this hand, so ignore that. But like compared to my hand, sorry, my phone's gone off. Compared to my hand, considering I've got quite like big hands in a way, these are huge. But I don't even know if you can tell on camera how big they are, but just take my word for it, they are huge. <laughs> Fans are frozen, and then somewhere in here. Yeah. Oh wait, it says on the side, Josh. Oh no, it doesn't. 
Somewhere in here, a Cheetos burger, which I'm excited about. again everyone I didn't really vlog a huge amount yesterday so it was a slight fail however I did vlog some clips which I'll pop over the top of what I'm going to explain now so had the donuts they were probably I'm not even joking probably the best donuts I've ever had like definitely up there with Krispy Kreme so um, I ate a lot of them they were delicious I've even ordered another box to have delivered tomorrow so I can bring them home for mum because she wants some like they were honestly that good oh the wind let me just wait for the wind to go in case it messes up with the audio. Could be waiting a while. Then we went to Home Bargains and B&M and the range, which was basically a great day out. I'll do a um, haul of that later. Then we got takeaway. I had this like spicy Cheetos burger thing, which is quite interesting, and a Tango ice bath, which I've been craving for the past like three months, but there's nowhere near me to get one. So I had that, and then that was basically about it. And now, um, now we're just walking into town because we didn't end up doing that yesterday gonna have a wander around this morning went for a walk actually um i think that's everything we've done oh and then we've just been in the garden because it's been really nice weather as you can probably tell so that's about it so far i'll do a home bargain tour later and we'll just go from there interesting yummy okay we've popped into ice tank so i wanted to get these like frozen hula hoop things so I saw them on Instagram so I managed to get them now I got Costa because it is honestly such a beautiful day um even though Josh got a hot drink but weird um I got a mango and passion fruit cooler mm. I'm now going to pop to M&S because I want to get some stuff in there and then probably pretty much head back although I don't really know how much you can hear okay it's getting too noisy I'm going to turn this off um M&S was an absolute fail I won't lie I didn't get anything that I went in there to get I went in there to get three oh no they did have one of the things I wanted but I just decided not to get it I went to get the Colin cake pot thing obviously like do you expect anything less but that was obviously sold out um so that was a bit of a fail but that yeah that was literally it and then got an onion from Tesco so that's about as exciting as this town trip's got not really the most exciting vlog footage of this town trip either but that's that got a costa we're gonna go back take this blazer off potentially get changed sit in the garden and go from there because it is lovely weather today to be honest like this weekend so far has been really nice we've just been in the garden which again isn't the most exciting to vlog but anyway <laughs> Truth. Did you really try with ketchup and mayonnaise first? I think we would have tried it on its own first. It just tastes a bit like a hula hoop almost, but... Really? Does it? Like a potato waffle with not much potato in it. <laughs> Only a bit of salt in them, really. Mm. They're alright, they're mostly just like chips. Yeah. Let's see what you mean. Mm. Good morning everyone. Um, I'm walking backwards at the moment because the lighting's better that way. It's now Sunday. I mean, I've not vlogged much each day, but today I'll try and do a little bit more. Um, what was I going to say? I made a Thai green curry last night and that was basically about it. And now we're going on a run. Um, it's Sunday morning. We're going for a run and then we're going to, I'm walking so slowly. Uh, then we're going to go to Lidl and get some more bakery stuff for breakfast. And that's about it. Um, so yeah, got my classic jumper and legging combo on and that's about all I really have to update you on. Although I've got a different pair of sunglasses on for the past few days, which is a bonus. Um, right, I'm going to go start walking the normal way now and go for this run. Okay, run is done. It's now 11 minutes past nine and it's a Sunday, which means Lidl's not open for another hour. So we've just run to Lidl and um, it's shut. So I feel like I look a slightly like a bald egg. What's up, bitch? Um, but yeah, we're gonna go back right, home now and then home. maybe it's come back to Lidl in a bit. Um, although we are gonna have to wait an hour for breakfast and I'm already quite yeah, hungry. But I do kind of want some really more of the croissants right, or yeah. whatever. Yeah, Sorry, Josh is talking right. to Max. Um, oh, <laughs> I did kind of want a croissant for breakfast, so I might have to come back, but we shall see. But anyway, yeah. the run's done, which is great. No, um, idea, first time my Apple Watch as well, which made it even more fun. Weird to say, but it is. Yeah, um, so yeah, we shall go back and go from there. Little round two. I can't get my sunglasses on. Let's go. It's now 
Thank you, Joshua. My bloody thing went from what time? Probably about 10 o'clock. 17. Seven minutes to 10. And we're going to go to Little again and try and actually get some breakfast now. I'm thinking croissants. Um, anything else? Lunch, please. Oh, and some lunch. I think we're going to have like a picky lunch today. It's meant to be quite nice weather. And that's about it. I always have my sunglasses on in these clips at the moment, but it's a sunny weekend, what can I say? Ow. Okay, we are back from Lidl, so I thought I'd give you a quick haul because I've not done much else so far. So, of course, I got the pastry, some croissants, because these I'm kind of obsessive, so I got like chocolate ones and high chocolate. Um, then I also got a cheese twist again from the bakery because it just looked too good and then for lunch one of these little roll things you can't really see it and some mini baguettes because we're having like a kind of picky like holiday sort of lunch type thing um some spinach uh some ham again for like the whole picky lunch thing um some cheese and some alioli again to go with lunch and then some uh, fake Pringles and some fake, whatever these are called, like chocolate butter biscuit thingies. And then lastly, I have a chicken salad sandwich for my lunch tomorrow and some salmon and king prawn sushi, which I'll probably have um, with my lunch today, which I'll probably try and show you when we have it so you can understand what I mean by picky lunch. Um, but... I just want to show you this cheese twist like out the bag because it's not doing it justice like look at that that honestly i'm gonna say oh Ooh. and then let's show you the roll as well because look at that i love like oh it's just not gonna focus it's like crusty fresh bread and then whilst we're out, these also got delivered, which is another box of these donuts. This time they came in this little pink parcel thing, which they didn't come in last time. But because I'm taking them home and I won't be eating them till tomorrow, I'm going to leave them in the little bag, but I'll show you them tomorrow. But basically another box of these because I'm obsessed. So I got some more. And that is basically it for my little little haul. So I'm going to have some breakfast now and I'll go from there. Good evening, everyone. It is now um, eight o'clock. I have not vlogged a lot. I was meant to vlog. Um making sausage and mash but to be honest completely forgot until i was halfway through eating it um we've just been watching goggle box which is kind of what we did last night um and that's been about it and i'm about to order some dessert i'm gonna get some cookie dough because i just can't resist like because we don't get uber eats at home when i'm up here and i can have uber eats and i can have warm chocolate chip cookie dough delivered to my front door i can't resist i just can't say no so i'm gonna get that delivered um and that's probably going to be about it um, for this, like for today's section of the vlog. And then tomorrow I'll do the home bargain tour that I said I was going to do yesterday, which I didn't do yesterday and I didn't do today. So I'll try and do that tomorrow. And then I'm also driving home tomorrow. Um, is this a really unflattering angle? Potentially. I'm holding this. Oh, I should have done it at that angle. Oh, I also washed my hair earlier. So it's looking a bit flat. But yeah, that's about it. That's a little update. And I'll probably show my cookie dough when it arrives. And that's probably going to be about it for today. <laughs> Thank you, cool. bro. Yeah, and it's just other Good morning, everyone. It is now Monday. Uh, but you can probably hear children in the background because there's a school that, like, is basically there so they're obviously in the playground um but i thought i'd unbox the other box of donuts that i got um if you well you would have seen the vlog earlier probably where i got some donuts delivered on friday um mum wanted some to bring for me to bring home so i got some more delivered yesterday um to bring home today so that my family can try them and this time they came in like a little plastic bag so i haven't actually looked at them and i wanted to leave them in the bag yesterday to keep them as fresh as possible for today if that makes sense but i thought i'd open them now and yes i've also got my sunglasses on again but it's quite sunny and also um i'm just not looking great on camera this morning so sunglasses help that um, i'm gonna put me down here and i'm just gonna i'm gonna open the donuts now 
again i can't remember what oh i've opened them upside down that was not good um i can't remember exactly what this box is but i just basically sent they do several options of boxes to be delivered every day so i sent mum all the options that were being delivered yesterday and she picked this box and this is actually the box that i wanted because if you don't know my favorite chocolate bar is the marvelous creations um cadbury chocolate bar i love it and one of these donuts is like based around that i'm just going to open them now and hope that they're not Oh, squash, which they're not. Oh, God, they're, they look so good. So they look like this. I will do a, a close-up in a minute. But there's a lotus one, a twirl one, a caramac one, and then, like, a caramel one with the Marvelous Creations one on. They don't look as good as my first box, I don't think, but they still do look really good, if that makes sense. I'll insert a little close-up because it'll be easier. I'm so excited for these. These are going to be sat literally on my front seat on the way home, like, strapped in. I'm going to keep these so safe. Um... Oh, they just smell, so oh, almost dropped them. They smell so good. Okay, it's finally home bargains full time. I was gonna do this with my camera like sat up there and do it like a proper, not proper haul, but like, I don't know. I thought it would take a lot longer that way and I would just ramble. So I thought holding the camera, it's gonna make my arm ache, which means I'm gonna do it quicker because otherwise we could literally be here for ages. So I have the bag, I'm gonna quickly go through it. So. First off, I finally got my hands on one of these. It's one of the hot chocolate bomb things. So this is a little hot chocolate dinosaur. It's got marshmallows and like chocolate chips in it. You pop it in a mug and it melts. Um, gonna, be, gonna need to be quite a big mug though because it's quite a big dinosaur thing. Next up. Then we have this because this looks incredible. Chinese, wait, I can't read it through the viewfinder. Chinese salt and chili pepper seasoning. So I thought this would be like um, salt and pepper chips from the Chinese shop. So I thought I'd get that. Don't know the prices of anything, so I just grabbed it all. I got some more chewing gum. Oh, there's something in my eye. Got some more chewing gum because I need that for my car. I got some Milky Bar cookies and cream bite things because I wanted to try them and I saw them in there, so I got them. Then I got some uh, Peppa Pig Queen Mummy socks because I needed some new socks and I love Peppa Pig, so I thought, why not? This is already starting to make my arm hurt, so I need to get a move on. I got this, which I actually picked up as a joke at first, because I thought it was so disgusting, but then I kind of loved it. It's this hand sanitizer. There we go, it's focused now. I'm probably going to take the pom-pom off, but this is like hand sanitizer. It's got a G on it, which is like squishy and sequined, and it's like a little... I mean, it's not focusing, but a little hand sanitizer thing. I thought that would be quite handy for my car, to be fair, because I can, like, hang it up somewhere. And then I just got a load of chocolate orange stuff um, for Alana's birthday, um, one of her, like, presents. Oh, I got this um, air freshener. I'm not too sure why, because it's the shape of a foot. Uh, my hand is now shaking because I've been holding this for too long. This used to be, like, an ice cream. I don't know why they ever shaped an ice cream in the shape of a foot like who would want that but it's an air freshener and i don't know why i got it but i did and that's like strawberry scented and then um what else did i get i can't really see to be honest okay lastly i'll just show you this which i actually got in tk max um it's the tan Lux face drops which i've been wanting to try for a while is this gonna focus i put up on my instagram story the other day for some recommendations of face tans and loads of people said this and it's meant to be 30 pound and this is in TK Maxx for £12.99, which was like the perfect timing because um, I was going to buy it and I happened to find it in TK Maxx. So if you're in a, local TK, in a local TK Maxx, if you're going to TK Maxx, have a look for this because it's literally over half the price. So love that. And yeah, that is it for my home bargains haul. My hand is actually now killing me, so I'm going to have to swap. Um, that's that. I am now home, as you can probably tell. However, the vlog hasn't ended here. There are more vlog footage clips after this. However, how many times can I say however in a sentence? However, carrying on with the home bargain haul, I have here a giant parcel of stuff that I got very kindly gifted from Cherries. So I thought I'd chuck it in here. It ties in quite well with home bargains because if you don't know already, Cherries is very similar to like B&M and home bargains, but it's like an online app thing. I've got a discount code actually, which will get you 20% off. It's Georgie Clark 20. I'll pop it on screen here though and put it down below. Um, and that will get you 20% off your first app order. I've worked with Cherries in the past. I love them. I love their stuff. So I thought I'd just give you a quick haul. I'm probably not going to show you every single item that I got because we could be here for literally like 20 minutes. Um, I'll just show you a few things. And then I do have a few other things I've very kindly been gifted that I thought I'd kind of unbox and show you on camera in a minute as well. But we'll do the Cherries haul first and then we shall go from there. So first off, I got this, which is an ultra waste bag and microfiber towels it's basically like a water bottle that's tied into like a waistband it's also got like a towel built into it and i've also just seen it's got a zipped compartment which is ideal for your phone cash etc so i thought this would be really handy for running or if you were going on like a really long walk one day this was five pound which was actually one of the most expensive 
no it was the most expensive thing that i got everything in here came to 50 pound and most things are like a pound or two pound each um so yeah round waist for running thought it'd be really handy moving on uh, another thing which i got which was also five pound was this which is a gillette venus snap um razor i have wanted one of these for literal years and i've just never bought one i've always wanted one but just never got one um so basically it's like a mini razor in a little case so it's perfect for traveling looks like that um like i said five pound which is so good because these are normally ten pound in boots so i finally have one i'm chuffed then i got these which is actually reminding me i got a bottle of astonish like window cleaner for my car because it's a convertible the back window doesn't have a windscreen wiper apparently that's what a windscreen wiper looks like it doesn't have one on my car so it can get quite dirty so i bought some window cleaner for that and then i also got these microfiber cloths because they were pink and beautiful and i thought that'd be handy for my window as well and i did also get a six pack of ribena because i love ribena um, but one of them had like lit a little bit one of them has leaked so i popped them all downstairs so i don't have them with me then i got this which is very similar to the cream egg spread thing that I showed earlier it's from the exact same brand same thing just a different flavor so this is the white chocolate flavor syrup because I love white chocolate so this sounded right up my street pop it with some ice cream pop it in a coffee maybe I think this was literally like £2.50 or something so I had to get it I then got quite a few Peppa Pig related things because like I said with the whole Peppa Pig socks I have an obsession with Peppa Pig so I got some gummies um like these three pack of hand and face wipes and you get 10 in each of them I thought these were just handy for like my handbag or for the car you know um if you spill a drink or something and then i also got this which is so cool um this is a flashing toothbrush um so it looks like that and then you press the bottom and then it flashes like that i mean we are in daylight so you can't see it as well but that is one of the incredible i'll probably just take this to josh's or have this as a travel toothbrush but i actually love it that i kind of want to use it as an everyday one i then got some simple vital vitamin night cream because i love simple skincare so i was like perfect uh, I got an air freshener for my car, which is a dib dab one, and some foot warmers. I then got a Bessie Crocker red velvet cake mix because I was planning on taking that up with me at the weekend to make with Josh, but I obviously didn't, so oh well. And then very randomly, I got two packs of this pasta because it's like the bow shaped pasta and i don't ever really see this stuff in the supermarket and i haven't had this for years and i love the shaped pasta so i decided to get some and then i just got loads of food which i'm going to quickly go through so i got some of these um they're meant to taste like after eights apparently so i thought i'd get them some fruit winders um this chocolate bar cornflakes in because we all know i love chocolate with stuff in even though that's not going to focus i got some mawam crazy rocks and also some mawam pinballs some of these chocolate mint things to try and some chocolate mice because i'm obsessed with picnics some milky bar mini eggs which are still from easter some fruit salad flavored chew it some chop chop lollipops which is actually just reminding me so basically i bought these because they have the strawberry and cream lollipops in them and i've been looking everywhere for like the strawberries and cream flavor chop chops or like the chocolate and cream ones but i literally couldn't find them anywhere i looked on amazon and you can only like bulk buy them and they come from dubai blah 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 um and then i saw them on cherries within this pack so you get 10 lollipops in here there's also cola strawberry and apple but the reason why i bought them was the strawberries and cream ones but then when i went to home bargains the other day i found them and i forgot to show them in the hall and then i remembered afterwards and i was gutted so i thought i'd show them now so i bought two of the strawberries and cream ones like this the other one is in a bag somewhere and then three of like the chocolate and cream ones which sound disgusting but i used to have these like at school all the time and i haven't seen them anywhere and then i went into home bargains and they had a box of like various flavors and i was like oh, i bet all the strawberry and cream ones are going to be sold out no the box was literally just full of these all the strawberry and apple ones are gone and these were the only ones left and they were 10p each i was like oh my god 10p so i bought six and I'm absolutely chuffed because I've been looking everywhere for these. So that's my little story over. So that's my little cherries haul. And now I'm going to move on to something else that I got gifted. Because this is like a little unboxing gifted portion of the vlog. I got sent these from a brand called Hype Sneakers. Um, I think it's Hype Sneakers underscore RU, I think. But I'll, whatever it is, I'll pop it down below. But they very kindly reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I wanted to pick a pair of trainers. So they're a replica trainer company on Instagram. They have so many different styles. They've got like Balenciaga dupes, loads of different Nike ones, Jordan all things like that um but i went with these ones so in here i have some shoes which are not very me they're not really my sort of style but when these came out last year i was obsessed with them and then when i saw that i could pick them off this website i just had to because i have loved them ever since i laid my eyes on them so these are the nike and ben and jerry i've just dropped them the nike and ben and jerry collaboration trainers like i said these came out last year i wanted to get them but they were really rare and then they're really expensive to buy them off depop and stuff and these 
are the best dupe of them literally ever like i have looked at pictures of the real ones online and i can't tell a difference with these they are honestly amazing they are such good quality they are so comfy i'm obsessed so they look like this there's like a little yellow tick which looks like melted ice cream we've got the kind of sky landscapes that you have on tubs of ben and jerry's and then i don't know how well this is showing up on camera but like there's this cow print around the edge and this is like faux sort of fur kind of thing like it's kind of fake cow fur it's got white laces however they do also come with a yellow and a green pair that you can change out and then they're kind of like tie-dye on the inside they say nike there and then on the inside bit here it says ben and jerry's if it's not fun why do it and a lot of like the fake ones i've seen have like misspelt that label whereas these all the spelling is perfect everything is literally spot on like they're honestly incredible and they just say Nike Chunky Dunky there which is the name of them they're definitely going to be a Marmite shoe some people are going to love them some people are going to hate them they're definitely out there I feel like with a plain black outfit though these would look so cool and I just love them I feel like they're definitely a statement shoe they add a bit of colour probably not something I want to wear every day but if I ever want a bit of a different shoe, I'm going to go for these because I absolutely love them. Like, I'm so obsessed. I do also have a discount code for these. I just haven't been sent it yet. So I'll pop it down below in the description box when I do, along with all the details. And then finally, for my little unboxing gifting section, we have over here, I'm trying to grab it, this. So in here, I have some tan, which I very kindly got gifted from Coco and Eve. I've actually got it on now. I did, um, I put it on last night. I've done a before and an after picture so you can see them. Actually, I did a before picture one when I just applied it and then one after and this tan is honestly beautiful and I got this in the dark shade and it's the most beautiful colour like let me just move a little bit closer so you can see my arm like I'm honestly so tan today so this is the bottle of tan like I said I got it in dark um I can't really put my finger on what this smells like but it smells so nice like it's not like the traditional fake tan smell of biscuits it smells like kind of tropical almost and then also in here i got gifted their fake tan mitt which i didn't use last night just because i wanted to keep it clean for this um it kind of looks like an oven mitt but i kind of love this because i really needed a new fake tan and it feels so nice like it fits perfectly and then also in here i do have their um fake tan drops their bronzing face drops again i got these in a medium and it also comes with this little brush i got like a little bundle of fake tan which i'll pop down below um, and there's just a brush to blend out the tan drops and i am honestly obsessed like the color of this tan is absolutely beautiful it looks like i've been on holiday um so yeah i'm obsessed i'll leave a link down below as well as my discount code because i do have a discount code and a link um so if you use them together you can save a little bit of money i love this stuff i can't i haven't tried these face shops out yet but i'm very excited to but once you've seen my before and after pictures you're going to be obsessed like i am because this tan honestly i haven't tanned my back so if i look a bit pale there that's why but honestly the color of this tan is so beautiful like I am obsessed. They're my little gifted items. Thank you so much to all the brands that sent me these things. I'll leave all the information details down below. And now I shall go back to previous me, back at Josh's at the weekend, and carry on with the vlog from there. Okay, little quick vlog update whilst I'm stopped at some traffic lights. I'm now home. I've got the roof half down because I've got some McDonald's here, which I've picked up for my dad and my brother as well. So I don't want it to get too cold. Um, and also I've got loads of stuff in the car, so I don't really want it to like, you know, flap around whilst I'm driving, but I'm home. And that's about it for this vlog. I've got great lighting because I've got this literally the sun right there. But it's a beautiful day. I'm home. Great journey home. And I'm now moving. Really flattering angle, but the traffic light went green. So I'm obviously not going to be vlogging whilst I'm driving because that's not safe. So I'm going to end this clip here. And yeah. Bye.